Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 13th, 2023. Well, yesterday that CPI number came out and inspired those bulls. We gapped up substantially, and then it was really interesting after that gap up. We just really couldn't get anything going here um in in the dow we j this is a 15 minute chart we just ended up chopping and then eventually pulling back a little bit but overall we still held on to some nice gains on the day but what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, looking at the diamonds here, we did rally right up to where we kind of expected yesterday. I said if the bulls could pump, push through this level, then look at this level up here, and that's exactly where we ended up stopping. In fact, we stopped on a dime up there. Kind of an interesting situation to see that we couldn't follow through past that, even though that economic data was pretty substantial. And I'll show you the reason why I believe that is true here in just a little bit. If we take a look at this chart, you can see we have that possibility of a topping situation. And I've said that I will turn this green if we get proof that we will hold this area in the chart. Uh, because remember, we haven't been able to get through there since August of last year. Um, we will pop through, but we haven't been able to hold. So let's watch that closely here today. We do have some economic data that's helping out or could help out and some earnings data that may uh, provide a little inspiration here as well for either the bulls of the bears now looking at this this morning if we're going to continue to push to the upside i would say the bulls could push right up into here again and retest that level pretty easily and if we can push through there then we have these levels over here that we could start looking at to go a little bit higher here in the diamonds if the bears come up with some kind of inspiration and i don't know what they would come up with i don't expect the ppi data to be bad today um, maybe just data or some bad earnings I don't know but if the bears were to find some inspiration in here then I would suggest retest back down here to test this support area in here and if that were to fail then we might fall into that gap here kind of closing that gap on the diamonds on this big surge to the upside so keep an eye on that if we take a look at our um, s p 500 s p 500 held up pretty well yesterday you can see this is a 15 minute chart after the gap up open well we really didn't get much higher we just kind of stayed in a tight choppy range the whole day kind of an interesting um interesting situation um but as you can see we're very very bullish we broke through this resistance in the chart bulls are definitely in control here if we can continue that process remember we are now um, testing the 4500 level in the spy and there's a lot of folks out there saying that that could be the upside um, uh, target on this kind of extreme rally to the upside but if we can kind of keep moving notice there is a fairly substantial resistance level in the chart um, just a little bit higher up there around that 449.81 in the spy so that could um, be tested here fairly easily if the bears find inspiration today well i would look for a pullback to maybe retest this level of support and then if that were to slip then maybe we fall into this gap and we look at refilling the gap here on the spy even if that occurs there's nothing wrong with this chart not a thing wrong with that chart it is very very bullish if we take a look at qqq same thing here qqq extremely bullish what was interesting yesterday is that we struggled with this resistance we're trying to gap through it this morning so watch that carefully upside targets i think in this chart would be right up in here as you can see there's our next level of price resistance in the chart so if we can hold above this resistance here 
proof to hold above there, then that's where I think we might have that opportunity to go to continue to stretch a very overextended NASDAQ, um, in my opinion, um, on the upside. Now, if we take a look at um, if the bears were to find inspiration, well, first off, I would suggest that they're going to come back down, retest that support level in the chart. And if they were to slip past that, then I would have to say that possibility that we would then fill this gap uh, from yesterday um, as a possibility if those bears were really inspired. Once again, if that were to occur, no harm here. We are still very extremely bullish in this chart and very extended um, still. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM was probably one of the bigger winners of the day because we popped through this big resistance area in the chart. Now we've done that before, but we've yet to really prove that we could hold it once we got up here. So now we need to, to see that proof that we're gonna hold up here above this level. So any um, continued push through to the upside, I'm gonna look um, right over in here. You can see there's that resistance we talked about yesterday. That's kind of where we popped and held. We're trying to deal with that this morning. If the bulls can continue to follow through here, then maybe up into that next area of the chart for that bullish push. If the bears find inspiration today, then look for a retest of yesterday's lows and then possibly a gap fill on the IWM if the bears really get engaged. So let's keep a close eye on those levels. Let's take a look at our VIX. VIX saw a nice little pullback yesterday as fear dropped out of the market. But one thing we are really showing here in the market is um, tremendous complacency um, and an overbought condition here in our market. And again, we'll talk about that in just a second. But this should be no surprise. We rallied into that downtrend resistance, pulled back. Uh, very, very bullishness, very, very bullish here in that chart. Um, the question will be, can we maintain that bullishness um, long enough and strong enough to push us right back down here into these lows? There'd be no reason to believe that um, that's not possible the way the market's um, reacting and um, heading in ter tremendous anticipation heading into the next round of um, earnings for third quarter kickoff on Friday. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122, here's our problem. Our T2122 is extremely extended. As a matter of fact, yesterday we did pull back. We were at 98 on T2122, which says that Boy, there's, it looks like everybody is in, um, pushing to the upside. So we are very extended in the short term here, according to T2122. And um, there's never been a time in T2122 where we can break 100% of the stocks um, uh, to the upside. There's always stocks moving down. And, and remember, this is a four week new high, new low ratio. So we are way bullish here in the market and what that says is that we should be watching for that potential of a pullback occurring at any time i don't know when it's going to occur and it doesn't mean that we can't go higher in the markets we can continue to push to the upside but we're running out of that space up here to the upside and the further and further we push the more overbought the more frothy we become in the market so if those bears um, uh, find any reason uh, to move, just remember the uh, pullback could be pretty substantial and a little bit painful if you're over long the market. Might be a good idea to tighten up some of those stops, maybe take some profits just in anticipation of some kind of a rest or pullback coming. May not be this week, maybe next week. Um, I can't tell you when it's going to happen. I can just tell you there's never been a time when we've been pushed up here, that we didn't eventually have a substantial pullback. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, T2108 continued to extend. We are reaching that very frothy situation here where we're up in those 70s here. 70% um, of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. Again, 
That's a very stretched condition. Uh, doesn't mean we can't go higher. As you can see, we've been up here recently. Um, you know, in the last couple of years, we've been up here in the 80 areas. So we could still go higher in this, but that doesn't mean that that oversold, uh, overbought condition is not still um, something to be concerned about. So watch this carefully here. If we get any hint of bearishness, then look for that potential pullback. And again, this is one of those reasons that you tighten up your stops, take a little bit of profit um, here in the market, just simply because that extension is getting to a bit of an extreme level. We take a look at our T2107. Same thing here, continuing to stretch up. Now we can go higher here, as you can see, we went clear up here to 65% um, uh, in February. Um, so certainly we've got more upside potential in here and the bulls are definitely in, con in control. 56% of the stocks, anytime we start reaching above 50% in the T2107, we start reaching that little bit of overextended concern area in this chart. When we stretch all the way up into here, then we're very, very overbought in that sector. So watch that closely as well. Our uh, T2101 uh, continued to show us that hooking pattern pattern here. Once again, that may mean that momentum could be shifting here in the market. We saw a little bit of that yesterday. We gapped on the news and then momentum just died on the vine. It just There was no follow through um, um, on that big move to the upside. So that might be that hint or warning that there could be that unloading um, starting to occur on the institutional side. We've stretched too far and maybe they are the ones being the sellers to the retail traders still clamoring for the fear of missing out on that push to the upside. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has, well, obviously a few things we wanna be paying attention to this morning. First off, we're gonna have jobless claims here this morning. That's something to always be paying attention to. Consensus is su suggesting just an ever so slightly increase in those claims. Now, keep in mind, that's been a real problematic area for the market and those jobs continue to remain um, so strong that that's not making the Fed very happy. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that. PPI will also be coming out at the same time and PPI is suggesting that those producer prices declined a little bit. And so we'll be watching that to see if that can inspire those bulls even further. And then, of course, we got a natural gas report. We've got a, um, a big day on the bond market. We've got a 30-year bond auction and a 20-year bond auction, uh, some four- and eight-week uh, bond auctions to be paying attention to. Um, later on in the day, we've got Treasury Statement, Fed Balance Sheet, and some more Fed Speak. But... I don't think anybody's really going to be paying attention to that. And the reason is everyone's going to be focused on the, the kickoff of earnings on Friday from the big banks. We've already got a little bit of hint or warning that banks may have a little bit a little bit of trouble in their um, earnings reports. There's some question out there. We'll have to wait and see. We're also going to face import export prices and consumer sentiment uh, tomorrow morning as well. Let's take a look at um, the earnings calendar here. Now, earnings for today, we do have a few notables. In fact, we've got a couple already this morning um, uh, showing some bullishness here. We've got Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines continuing to stretch in this parabolic upside move here on Delta. Boy, that is just so stretched out in the short term and we're pu pushing into um, resistance levels that are substantial here in the chart. Boy, I would be really careful chasing that. Um, I think it's very overextended in the short term here. And then if we take a look at PepsiCo, PepsiCo surprised with uh, better than expected results popping up here, trying to break through some resistance in the chart. So a little bit of defensive sector stocks might be coming on a line here. Um, if we are overextended and we see a little bit of a pullback beginning, um, oftentimes you can see a rotation into defensive sector. Saw um, utilities and things like that moving up yesterday, gold and silver moving up with the dollar falling so substantially. So there may be a little bit of hint that that could begin at any time. And then when we see companies like uh, uh, PepsiCo 
producing better than expected, well, that kind of um, helps that uh, possible rotation into a few of the defensive names. So keep an eye on that. We're also going to hear from ConAgra. Uh, today, keep an eye on ConAgra, a little pop and drop going on in there in the pre-market. So watch that. We've got Fastenal that will be reporting. Um, ooh, that's kind of disappointing because we've been seeing, you know, builders and things like that just zooming to the upside. And Fastenal apparently disappointing here, maybe suggesting that spending is pulling back here um, in that sector. So watch that close. Uh, PGR, PGR reporting today. And um, WAFD also reporting here, Washington Federal. So kind of keep an eye on that. One of the regional banks coming out here with some data today uh, could be interesting for the market to pay attention to. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon. When it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find the videos to be useful or helpful if you can do me that favor clicking those thumbs up buttons leaving those comments helps an awful lot i want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that i know it's monotonous day after day to do that but i do truly appreciate the support for the effort it takes to get these videos out um, every morning uh, to you all so thank you so much for everyone who does and also you could do me a huge favor by um sharing these videos on your social media feed that helps um uh, the the videos or any any of the membership groups that you might be a part of um particularly stock membership groups that you might be a part of on social media feeds so thank you so much to everyone who does do that i do truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to be doing your own due diligence be very very careful in this market we've got a lot of volatility probably coming our way with the beginning of earnings season there's a lot of anticipation for it so be prepared for some pretty volatile days um, uh, coming and make sure you're prepared for that um, sometimes we get so wound up in the over bullishness that we're seeing right now that we we get that major fear of missing out and I know that was a problem for me for years and years and years and that's one of the purposes that I started doing a morning prep bit um, work for myself years ago because it helped me um, look at the the charts without a bias that everything has to always go up and look at it with it with the eye well what if the bears um, have some action where are we going to go and that helped me an awful lot in being focused on the the day so remember guys that um, anytime you're looking at these trade ideas um, that I put out that they're not recommendations to buy or sell anything you've got to do your own due diligence and be thinking very very carefully about the risk of every trade um, that you might be um, considering now that being said um, as you guys know I've talked about SQ here and I'm uh, biased on SQ because I do have a position in it and um, little pop yesterday uh, well, not little, but a nice pop and then a bit of a pullback. You can see we've got some bullishness coming in here this morning or attempting to come in here this morning. Now, we've got a support level right in here that I would be watching for the next potential entry if we could rest back. Notice our trend being here. We probably need a little bit of rest to come in that trade, but I wouldn't be all that surprised either if we push back up here and retest that high which is that resistance right here in that area so we could bounce around in this range for a little bit but then i'd be looking for that next opportunity in sq if we're going to be bullish um and super super bullish like this in the market we're going to need consumers out there spending with both hands uh to support these prices so we're going to need these pay systems out here to do that so sq looking good we're going to need visa to remain very very, very bullish as it is right now breaking out moving higher this is a huge um, pop of resistance here in the chart and then pushing on higher here 
uh, we found that next level right in here and now we're pushing on up let's look for a level right up in here to provide a little tiny bit of resistance as we reach out for maybe all-time highs here in visa so any rest or pullback in here i think a little rest consolidation i would be looking for some upside opportunity if we take a look at mastercard same thing very very bullish here pushing up approaching all-time highs here in mastercard just truly remarkable um, seeing that kind of consumer spending during times of well consumer spending and massive consumer debt coming into play um, as we continue to push this up but uh, no one seems to be worried about that at all as long as people keep spending we're going to keep ignoring the fact that everyone's in debt right now um, any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity in mastercard let's take a look at that mdt as you guys know i've been talking about this mdt as a um, consideration here there was some news out there yesterday that mdt bribed someone so uh, uh, watch that carefully as well but I'm, I'm keeping an eye on this as we push this up through this resistance level in here if we can hold this trend in here i'll be watching for that next opportunity and this is one of those healthcare ai stocks that may have some interest so watch that closely um also kind of really keep an eye on this oil sector pushed up hard yesterday we had uh, last couple of days really pushing up strongly in some of the oil stocks now remember as oil stocks go up gas prices go up as gas prices go up inflation goes up so we've got a little bit of a worry here not so much this month but if this trend continues that's going to be a problem for next month as those oil prices surge so watch that carefully in here now i wouldn't chase any of these um, at the moment um, you can see i had a price alert here on that chart we popped through but now we're uh, testing and breaking through this resistance level i'd look for a rest or pullback in here remember there's our trend so we may need some time in consolidation now that being said there are stocks out there that may uh, continue to stretch to the upside apa just a big zooming move to the upside and look for a rest or pullback uh, look for those next opportunities in there but i'm seeing a, a lot of these stocks conoco phillips um, exxon mobile trying to push up into resistance levels so keep a close eye on those um, as we move forward um, you might also want to be keeping an eye on some of the things in the commodity sector because of the rapid drop of the dollar here I mean dropping dollar here just cavitating here in the market um, things like steel um, US steel moving up nicely here again I have a bias on this I hold a position uh, nearly a 50% gain in uh, this US steel trade so feeling very very positive about it at the moment i'm um, getting a little bit of bullish action here in the pre-market as the dollar continues to fall so watch that closely here u.s steel stretching to the upside and you could look at other steel out there like uh, clf clf cleveland breaking through some resistance any consolidation rest in here would be bullish um, steel dynamics also making those moves to try and push up had a little bit of a rough day yesterday struggling in here just a little bit but there's plenty of steel opportunities out there mt um, trying to push on up here very gappy chart it's not one of my faves out here but you can see that's happening we also had some pretty good moves in gold gold popping higher now this isn't um, ready for prime time this isn't something to be rushing in and buying gold on that move but when we break down trends if we hold a higher low in here that is when i want to start looking um, at buying up some gold so watch that push if we can get a rest or pullback that holds in there gold silver um, even aluminum made a move yesterday popping up through some resistance still got a lot of work in building this base but it's trying to improve and then take a look at some of the commodity uh, food commodities agricultural uh, type stocks out there making some moves nice little pattern here showing up here in cf 
popping through some resistance yesterday, getting a little bit of a pullback here. Any consolidation to rest in here may set up that opportunity in CF. Um, ADM is also Archer Daniels. Just a huge shot to the upside here as that dollar weakens. That's going to help all of these um, type of uh, farming commodity type project uh, um, stocks out there. So watch that carefully. A mosaic might be another to keep an eye on. Just trying to come up out of this bottom. Just trying to make that hint that things are improving here. So watch carefully along this trend. We may see that next opportunity up in mosaic. So with that guys running this video a little bit long, I want to wish you all of the best. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully I can get this video loaded because I just had a big flash of thunder and lightning here. We've got a thunderstorm rolling in, so hopefully my internet holds up and I can get this video out. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the best.